Tonight, tears mixing with raindrops in Brunswick as friends and family remembered the four-year-old killed in a fast-moving apartment fire. News Channel 5's Frank Wiley was there for the emotional tribute and is live in Brunswick tonight. Frank? Yeah, the weather was not enough to keep people from filling this parking lot. About 100 folks showed up to grieve together. A huge outpouring of support. I'll ask you, Lord, to watch over every family that's been affected by this. Prayers got caught in the rain. Both came after the fact. Dozens stared into scorched windows, wondering what it must have been like. As it replayed in their heads, some may have pictured it ending differently. But time, tape, and destruction separated them from possibility. Ever since, hearts have mimicked the wax of these candles. The flicker of light shined on what deadly flames melted away. More than 50 people are displaced. Some are recovering in hospital rooms. But no one got to this four-year-old in time. She died. Nothing is loud enough to drown out the pain. Few knew what to say, but all shared the same sentiment. Faces reflected disbelief. Occasionally bowed in prayer, but every time they looked up, a reminder of reality. And the investigation continues again. This apartment complex did not have a sprinkler system. For now, we are live in Brunswick. Frank Wiley, News Channel 5.